The Danish queen is the only female monarch in the world. She is also a very bright and interesting personality. Queen Margrethe II ascended the Danish throne in January 1972, and she holds the record for the longest time in power among living monarchs. She has a brilliant education in several fields, philosophy, archaeology, economics, and social sciences. She is fluent in French, English, German, and Swedish. Queen Margrethe II also had a faithful, devoted, sincere love, Prince Henrik, with whom she was married for fifty years. He was not inferior to his queen in intellectual abilities, grew up in a family of aristocrats and built a brilliant diplomatic career. To marry the crown princess, he changed his name from Henri to Henrik, a more euphonious name for Danes, and converted from the Catholic faith to Lutheranism, but the biggest challenge for the ambitious and talented man was the status of a prince, not a king consort, after his wife's accession to the throne, which meant that he had fewer opportunities to realize his abilities. Margrethe II overcame this crisis with the help of a common hobby, experts in different languages, she and Prince Henry translated fiction under a common pseudonym, wrote poetry, created stage costumes for performances, and the Queen even drew several illustrations for Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, Prince Henry passed away in 2018. While he was still alive, he ordered that a poem he had written and read for her at their wedding should be read to the Queen at the farewell ceremony, reminding her once again of his love, which is beyond all control. Queen Margrethe loves bright colors and always smiles dazzlingly in public. On the eve of her 83rd birthday, she underwent a complicated spinal surgery, but today she came out to meet her subjects and smiled brightly as always. The Queen has the same clear mind of a bold intellectual, she follows the events in the world and sincerely supports Ukraine. We recall with gratitude her New Year's message to the Danes, which spoke of the war in Europe, the heroism of Ukrainians, and the need to support our liberation struggle. Of course, the Queen does not decide everything, because there is a government, but we have seen more than once how important the support of monarchs is, as exemplified by the royal families of Great Britain and Spain.